Um, this next one is a record from a band that is one of my favorite bands. I love their music. It's it's very unique in my opinion. They have a very unique style, uh, mostly in the vocals. I, it's very soft spoken and just you know some of the songs are really catchy. Some of the songs are more slow. Um, they you know and I just love them for that for jumping around in those kind of uh, styles with their songs and I just. I really love this band. Um, I love every album that I've heard from them. And this is the first one. It's the first album I heard from them. And so it's really cool getting this. And it's Bell and Sebastian's Tiger Milk. Pretty interesting cover art there. Um, nothing too special to say about the packaging. Um, it comes on 120 gram vinyl. Um, it would be nice to have the 180 gram uh, version. You know, I'm one of those people that will always go with the higher quality uh, vinyl if I can get it. Um, even when it's versus colors, I always want to have like the thick vinyl that sounds good. Um, you know, that's just my thing. But um, yeah, for now I have this uh, version of it. Um, yeah, it's a great album, great band. If you haven't listened to them, definitely check them out. And the next record is that Thrice um, record that I said I had in the pile. And it's uh, Thrice's Illusion of Safety. This is my growing up right here. This is my uh, teenage years, early teenage years. Uh, this is what I put on when I was angry at my parents and just didn't, was depressed. I was just like, what is going on with school and just girlfriends and everything? I mean, this record was there for me and, uh, you know, I know every song. I know all the lyrics. Um, as far as the band's other work, I don't know of it. You know, I, right at, uh, how do you say it, Viesu, I think that's how the album's pronounced, I lost, um, you know, I'd lost my interest in the band for a while. Um, but you know, I was younger, I was like 15, 16 when they started progressing into other kind of sounds, more of the softer type stuff, and I really wasn't into that kind of music then, you know, I, I definitely wouldn't listen to instrumental type music that I do now, or even a lot of the bands that I like right now, um, I would have never listened to when I was younger, I was just really into like hardcore, post-hardcore, screamo type stuff, um, and I'm really, really curious to what I think about Thrice's later material now. I mean, I haven't even heard most of it. I heard, you know, Viesu years and years ago when it first came out and just hated it <laughs> because I was just so still in love with this album. Um, and even the one that came before this, um, I totally forgotten the name of the first album but uh yeah this is a great album this is just the black vinyl version but it does come on 180 gram this is a pretty beat up copy as far as the cover artwork goes but i got it for like seven bucks on amazon um and i just wanted this record i just wanted to listen to it it's been years since i've heard it um so this is going to be pretty cool to get back into um yeah i've talked enough about this record thrice illusion of safety um yeah just Glad to have it. Alright, the next pickup is a Record Store Day release um, that I got post Record Store Day. Um, I did pick up a couple of things during Record Store Day and I'll probably maybe make a separate video for that stuff um, or just I'll show them eventually. But this is Destroyer with This Night um, put out by Merge Records. Um, I am not familiar with this record but I am familiar with Destroyer. Um, Kind of hard to explain his music, um, but I really, really like what I've heard from him so far. And this is just kind of a blind buy. I, I've been blind buying a lot of uh, albums recently, and it's worked out for me. I've, I've loved a lot of the things I picked up, and you know, um, I'm not sure what this was limited to, but it's cool to have it. Um, you know, again, I'm not familiar with this album, but Destroyer is a really cool artist, and uh, this is a limited release uh, put out by Merge for Record Store Day 2013. Alright, just a few more albums and uh, going in a completely different kind of genre. Uh, I hate God. When I want heavy music and when I want it to be loud and just heavy, I listen to I Hate God. Uh, this is probably my favorite album from them, Dope Sick. Um, and I'm so glad to have this on vinyl. I'm going to crank this shit up and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ruin some shit. The next record is coming from a very experimental artist, and that is Grouper. This is her latest release, and it is The Man Who Died in His Boat. It's an album that I've listened to a couple of times through on my computer, and I've really liked it, but I'm waiting to get really in love with it. Um, uh, I can't even describe Grouper's music. It's it's very different with every album she puts out, but it, like I said, it's very experimental. Um, she has a couple of albums where she gets more into the folkier side of things, where she does a lot more vocals. Um, some of her stuff is straight up noise, straight up just uh, drone music. Um, but this is kind of going back to more of her 
softer side, though it does have plenty of um, drony elements and experimental uh, stuff in it. Um, it's it, it's it's still you know kind of gets in the slower moods at sometimes. Man, it's really hard to explain this album, but it's Grouper. Um, if you guys are into experimental music. Um, by any means, check out Grouper. Um, really, really glad to have this re latest release, and it came with a cool sticker inside, so that's pretty cool. And there's that sticker. Um, pretty weird, but pretty cool. Okay, and this last record is um, a metal record, and it is probably my favorite death metal, um, heavier music, whatever you want to call it, um, record, grindcore um, record to date. It's this album, in my opinion, is flawless from track one to the last track. I I just completely in love with this album. I, I freaking love this album. And on top of that, this is a really, really rare record. Um, it comes on probably the coolest vinyl I have in my collection so far. Um, it's a beautiful gatefold, and you guys probably want to see what it is. Um, it's Cattle Decapitations, uh, Monolith of Inhumanity. Fucking brutal, amazing, heavy, fantastic record. If you guys like technical death metal, grindcore, heavy music in general, this is a must listen to. I absolutely love it. I've seen this band live probably four or five times. Just probably my favorite band in heavy music um, when it when it comes at least to the technical side of uh, heavy music. Um, they just do it flawlessly. Every song is perfect in my opinion on this album and I'm probably giving this a lot of hype. And if you go and listen to it and you're disappointed, I'm sorry, but I love this album. This is a really hard record to find now. They only pressed 1,000 copies and um, a lot of people are really into this record like I am. So it's hard to find, but I got it at a used record store for a really good price and look at that vinyl. Awesome vinyl to end this video on. Uh, it's it's uh, The color is described as world landfill. Um, very interesting, but freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out my first vinyl collection video. Um, you know, I would love comments. I would love some feedback from you guys. I'm definitely looking forward to maybe making some vinyl community friends. And uh, I hope you guys liked uh, some of the stuff I got. And I look forward to checking out some of your guys' videos. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. So until next time in a later video, um, I know I'm going to be buying more vinyl and uh, I will be making another video soon. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, well, I'll see you soon.